old timer. And I'm not talking about myself, I'm talking about this model. It's a model of a classic truck that was built in the 1960s and 1970s. Looking at the back of the box, we see it's a Mac F700 6x4, and it's with a ballast box and a hoof. And if you're wondering what a hoof is, that's the Dutch word for a tent, so I guess it means the tarpaulin cover. This is a limited edition model, and it's in the colours of the Dutch company Dornbos. The packaging is in the typical WSI style, so we need a sharp knife to cut the factory tape. And then we can lift the lid and get the model out. As you can see, there are only two parts to it, the truck itself and the ballast box. There is one other tinsy wincy bit of packaging to remove, and that's some cling film that's securing a pin in the towing hitch. For the assembly, we just need the giant hand crane to lift up the ballast box and clip it into place on the fifth wheel. Before we start, just a reminder that you can see a lot more about models on the Cranes Etc website, and the link to it is in the video description below. Also, if you want to know where you can buy scale models, then you can click on links on the website, including those in the shopping mall. And listed here are dealers that sell models in countries across the world. As usual, we start by looking underneath and we can see a very detailed chassis. And among the standout details is the gold coloured gearbox. The big fuel tanks are modelled and there's a full detailing of the transmission and suspension components. And it's always good that the driven tyres have a different tread pattern from the steering ones. The elevated roof has big beacon lights and it's really nice that there are see-through windows. The cab interior looks good with its old style seats. And on the outside there are large windscreen wipers and the famous bulldog is chrome. Below the Mac name we have Dornboss. And the chrome grille looks great. There are also graphics showing things like the old style number plate. The dated headlamps are also very nicely modelled. The structure of the door mirrors is modelled very well. And if we look at a side on view we can see the big air intake behind the cab. There's a fleet number which on this model is T60. And there's a large chromed grab rail and a chrome door handle. Below the door the silver step plate is excellent and there are plastic steps leading up. Another nice aspect of the detailing is the black front wheels. On the other side of the cab is a chromed exhaust with a blackened hull, and with the ballast box off we can see that there are coiled lines, and a rear spotlight behind the cab. Moving down the truck and the fuel tanks look the part, as do the rear wheels. The large wheel arches are modelled in plastic. The lower part of the ballast box is metal, and the tarpaulin on top is a plastic moulding. But the use of plastic does mean that it is finely detailed, and there's some very nice tarpaulin patterning. At the back there's a towing hitch, and the old style lights look very good. The large rigid plastic mud flaps have got nice Mac graphics. We start the review of the features by looking at the rear axles and they spin freely, and both have a degree of independent up and down movement. Moving to the front and we can see the steering in action, and a moderate degree of movement is possible until the tyres get fouled. Out we go onto the Cranes Etc test track, and it's a very nice free rolling model. Let's check out the steering angle. And as you can see, the model will follow a moderate curve. If you want to pin your hopes on another feature, then you can of course remove the pin from the hitch at the front. But much more interesting is tilting the cab. As you can see, it achieves a very good angle, and is able to stay in the tilted pose. And it is well worth having a look at that engine. As you can see, it is gold coloured, and just imagine if that was solid gold, it would probably mean that the engine wouldn't work. 
The ballast box is removable of course, or you can just take off the tarpaulin cover. It's always nice to see models of classic plant or haulage. And the Mac F700 is an interesting truck to model. WSI has achieved a usual high standard of modeling and the included functionality is very good too. Overall, if you've set your heart on an old timer, this one is very good.